Namaste yogis, my name is Wanda and you're watching Wonderful Yoga. Today I'm going to share with you a yin yoga practice. Yin yoga is the complementary practice to our yang yoga practices. So more yang focused practices are vinyasa practice or ashtanga that is more active, more sweaty, more driven. Yeah. So yin yoga is the more receptive, more passive, more surrendering kind of yoga practice. So it's really complementary, like everything in life, it's all about the balance of the two energies, about the male energy and the feminine energy. So everything can be described as male and feminine. We never have something that's just male or just feminine, yeah? So we always have these two parts in ourselves, but in everything you see in life. So if we have too much of the male, too much of the sun energy that is active, forward going, you know, like uh, very, very strategic, very focused. That's amazing to be like that. But if you're just like that, like the scale gets a little bit, you know, like that. So we want also to practice this surrendering, the soft, the moon kind of aspect and um, the meditative, the inward looking, the becoming still. So all these feminine aspects. That's what we practice in yin yoga. That can be pretty challenging if you've never done that before because our mind uh, used to freak out. <laughs> it's gonna tell you, why are we doing that? Or why is nothing happening? So it's really about the relearning of the not doing kind of state. So rather being than doing. That can be really challenging. But let's try it, okay? I help you through these uh, parts and we use our breath with the exhalation to surrender more and to stay. So we practice the non-reactiveness. We practice, even our mind tells us, ah, this posture is stupid, why are we gonna do that? Um, to stay and to, to relax even deeper and allow our body to open up. I always use that picture like the body, the lingerments, the joints, the muscles, the whole, the whole system is like a flower and if you give it the time to really stay in a pose for a certain amount of minutes, so in yin we stay three, sometimes to 20 minutes, some people do that, we're gonna, not going to do that here, but if we stay, we allow the body to open up, so we don't push and pull into a pose, but we allow, allow the opening. So what we do, just to demonstrate that quickly, then we're going to jump in very soon. So for example, in a forward fold, we're not going to push and pull ourselves forward. We not engage our muscles, pull the toes in like in a yang practice and straighten our spine. No, what we do is we allow everything to be soft and heavy. And also we allow our head to be heavy, our round um, back. So everything is really heavy and round. Yeah, and then we just stay and become still, so just stay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, enough of, of talking. Today we focus on the urinate bladder and the kidneys. So these organs work together. We always have the yin and the yang organ. They work together. So the meridians are like channels. Meridian literally main, means channel. So these are energetical pathways and in the, it comes from the Chinese medicine, from the Taoist path. And if these channels doesn't work so well, we, um, yeah, or in the joints, or if we have some black blockages in our body, dysfunctions, dismobility, or also diseases can settle in more easy, or we have like a urine retract infection, bladder infection, we have to pee too often. So these two organs, um, their task in our bodies is to select the waste of the water, that the water that is not so healthy for our cells and our blood and bones, to transport it out of the body. Yeah, so over the kidneys, into the bladder and out of the body, eliminating. So, and to, to differentiate between good water and not so good water. So, and then because our body contains 65% of water, so actually everything in our cells contains of water and the kidneys transport all this healthy oxygen into the cells and bones. So very important, yeah. So we do that today. We stimulate our kidney and bladder meridian just to, to tell you, if it interests you, the bladder and kidney meridian, they, they, the one starts in the little toe and goes all the way through our feet, on the, on the back side. So this is our, our kidney meridian. 
goes here in the inside of the legs, goes through the kidneys here, and all the way and ends in the in the tongue. And the bladder meridian starts in the inside of the eye, goes over the scalp, behind our back, over the scapula, all the way down in the lower back, over the buttocks, and also ends in the little toe. So in the in the lower in the lower part, the the lower meridians we stimulate today. Okay, enough of talking. Let's do some yin. Okay, guys, let's start with our yin practice. So make sure you have something to support yourself. So either you like to work with a bolster, maybe you have some firm, nice bolster, maybe you have some blocks. Um, or if you don't have any of these, not so bad, then just work with some pillows. Yeah, maybe you have some, some more harder pillows, the harder the better support. Um, yeah, if you quickly want to grab that, then just press pause on the video and then continues. All right. First, please sit nice and tall on the edge of your bolster or your block so that the hips can be higher than the knees. And close your eyes, tuck the chin a little bit in so that the back of the head is nice and long, hands rested on your thighs. Let the hip bones sink deep into the bolster. Relax your buttocks. With the next inhalation, roll the shoulders all the way up to your ears. Make a big circle back and exhale through the mouth out. And a sound of ha. Ah. Two more times. Inhale, roll shoulders up to the ears. And exhale. Very good. One more big circle. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears. And exhale back. Very good. And slowly begin to circle your head. Let your head drop to your left shoulder. You can stay with the eyes closed and allow your upper back to round now. And just circle the head. Neck circles from side to side. Very slowly and carefully. And circle a few times. From side to side, opening up the neck muscles. We hold a lot of tension. And slowly come back to center. Row shoulders one more time up to the ears and exhale back. Stay here with that open chest now. Tuck the chin a little bit in so that the back of the head is nice and long. Imagine somebody's pulling you on the back of your head towards the sky. And take a moment here to settle in. Really let your hips sink deeper into your bolster or your block. Allow the knees to rest on the floor. And then take both of your hands and place them on your lower belly. Both of your hands on your lower belly. And take a deep inhalation into your hands and long exhalation. Inhale into your hands, allow the belly to become wide and full. Exhale. Inhale into your hands and exhale. One more time, inhale into your hands and exhale. One last one, inhale in your hands. Long exhalation. And place both hands again onto your thighs. 
Relax your shoulders, relax your face muscles, let the jaw be soft. And stay connected with your breath. Let the breath flow all the way down into your belly, in the area of your bladder. And actually let's take a few breaths into our kidneys also. So take both of your hands onto your kidneys so they are on the back of your body on each side, yeah, like over the sacrum and over the butt on right and left a little bit next to the spine. Okay, let's take five deep breaths into our kidneys. Deep inhale into your hands. And exhale. Imagine you send some warm energy into your kidneys through your hands. Inhale. And exhale. Send some warm energy there. Inhale. And exhale long. Two more times. Inhale into your kidneys, right and left. Long exhale. One last one. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. And bring both hands back onto your thighs. So today we also have the chance to thank our organs, so the kidney and the bladder. Most of the time we just assume and expect that they always work fluently. This body is really a wonder system, like a really a miracle system that's working our whole life. So it's really good to once in a while thank our body and our organs for working so well. Stay with your breath. Relax the face muscles even more. And slowly open your eyes. And stay connected with that inner space we just connected with. Even as you watch um, that video, stay with this internal space connected. So first pose, I demonstrate that first before we move into that because we always have a couple of options, okay? So please first watch. First thing, come onto your belly. Don't do it yet. <laughs> and now you have two options. The, the little bit uh, lighter option um, that is not so extreme, so it's a back bend. So if you have some lower back issues, Go for that option, the swings option. Bring the legs more than hip wide apart, the toes falling, the heels falling to each side, and place both hands, uh, spread it into the floor, and elbows directly under the shoulder. So this is the first option. You also can um, fold your hands, and then allowing your neck to sink heavy down. And we stay here a couple of minutes. So if that is already pretty extreme for you, support yourself with a bolster, for example, under your rib cage, and then you can stay here. There's much less pressure on the lower back. If you don't have a bolster, you can also work with these pillows, of course, yeah? So make sure you support yourself in that pose. So this is number one, option one. So it's very individual. Maybe you go for the more intense version. So intense version is seal pose. Seal pose. For the seal pose, bring the hands a little bit more to the outside. So it's a little bit like a high cobra pose, but the hands are much more wide and the, the fingers point to the outside, pressing both hands into the floor, relaxing shoulders here, so don't pull shoulders up to the ears, relax the shoulders. 
So, and it's a, it's a pressure onto the pubic bone, definitely. And then we also allow our head to sink down and we stay here a couple of minutes. So if you already know this is too extreme, don't do it. Or you can stay here and support yourself again with a bolster. To stay a little bit higher up. Okay. So I go with you for the swings. So come onto your belly now. Choose which pose is the best for you. Yeah, so swings or high seal pose. For swings, bring the elbow directly under the shoulder or for seal, bring both hands on each side. Feet are more than hip wide apart. You can fold the hands and then allow the head to sink down. And we stay here now for three or four minutes. So close your eyes, let your head sink down, maybe you support your chest and then become as still as you can. Relax your shoulders, your face muscles, your jaw, your buttocks, your legs. Stay with your breath. Let's take a few deep breaths here together. Deep inhale and long exhale. You can breathe through the mouth out. Deep inhale and exhale. Two more. Deep inhale and exhale. One more deep inhale and exhale. Allow the head to sink heavy down. So this posture, all the postures in that video stimulate our kidney and urinate, bladder, meridian, these energetic pathways. So they go together always, like two meridians, a yang meridian and a yin meridian. The tsung and the fu meridian. So the kidney is the tsung, the, the yin, and the fu is the yang the urinary bladder. See if you can soften your muscles a little bit more. Stay with your breath and with the exhalation soften a little bit more. Alright, and slowly release your hands, come out of the posture slowly all the way, lay onto your belly, bring bolster away if you use the bolster or a pillow. Place both hands on the floor, make a cushion out of your hands and shake your hips from side to side. Deep inhale and exhale, sigh out. <sighs> Very good. One more. Deep inhale. <sighs> Always very healthy to sigh out with a sound through the mouth. One more. <sighs> very good. 
And we always pause in between the poses to allow the little fibers and muscles to neutralize before we go into the next pose. Slowly bring both hands next to your chest, tuck your toes under and sit yourself back onto your heels. If that is not possible, support yourself just with a, with a cushion or a block, relax the shoulders and softly gaze forward and um, we don't stay here long. I just demonstrate the next pose, okay? So next pose called dragon yeah so for dragon first watch bring the right leg forward bring the right leg forward if you have a sensitive left knee or knee in general fold the mat and bring the knee onto the mat so support your knee and then slowly we come up here and press press those hands into our up and thigh. To not totally collapse into that pose because your groin might not like that, please make sure you slightly lift up the, uh, the pubic bone and tuck the tailbone down and slowly sink down. And as we bring the weight slowly, slowly more over the hips, we can extend and go deeper into the pose. But maybe you first start up here. Okay? All right, let's do that, yeah? So bring your right leg forward, pull mat under, over, if possible, and make sure your knee is not pull, pull, um, pointing over your toes. Make sure your knee is in one line with your ankle, so to protect your knee and then come up fold your hands and push with the hands into your upper thigh relax the shoulders down and we stay here for three minutes close your eyes relax shoulders jaw face muscles that is a little bit wobbly. Maybe slightly open your eyes and stay soft. Allow the weight of your body to sink in here. Very, very good for the kidney meridian that goes on the inside of our legs all the way through the kidneys. We feel the stretch here in our groins. Stay with your breath. <sighs> Always welcome to sigh out. I think it's really one of the most healthy thing to release for sound, for the exhalation. This pose is called fly high dragon pose. Yeah, the dragon is up here. Gets a little bit more intense, I know, I feel it too. Stay with your breath. Don't go out yet. Relax a little bit more. See if you can soften a little bit more. No resistance, but surrender. Awesome, you guys. Slowly, mindfully, bring both hands next to your front foot. Straighten front leg. Ay, ay, ay. Walk foot back and sit back on both of your heels as a pose in between both sides. Maybe support yourself with 
the cushion bolster block. Deep inhale, exhale, relax shoulders. Pause in between both sides. Feel the difference in your left groin and in the right one. In your hip flexor area. So we really want to stimulate and stress this meridians a little bit. So that's what we do also in yang yoga practices. We stimulate and stress the tissues. So in yin yoga we stress the yin tissues. The yin tissues that open up when we stay long in a pose. We don't flex and extend like in a yang practice. A different kind of tissues. So these really open up by staying long. Slowly, softly open your eyes. Come up onto your knees, remove bolster block, cushion, and then prepare yourself for the other side. Bring the left leg forward. Help your foot if the foot doesn't want the way you like to. And then fold the right mat over. Support the back leg. Back foot is nice and long. Make sure the knee is over the ankle. Push the foot firmly into the floor. Spread the toes and then come up into a high fly dragon pose. Make sure the knee is not folding in but pointing towards the toes over the ankle. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, jar. And slowly sink a little deeper here. You can close your eyes if you have the stability here or stay with slightly open eyes. Stay again here for three minutes. Stay with your breath and with the exhalation, sink a little deeper. No pushing or pulling, but surrendering. Enjoy this opening up of your body. more breath. And slowly to come out, bring one hand after the other onto the floor next to your front foot. Straighten front leg and collect front foot in. Yay. Sit back on your heels again, grab cushion bolster block, support yourself. Pull shoulders up to the ears and exhale. <sighs> Relax shoulders down. Very good. Stay here in between the poses. Relax every muscle. Connecting more and more with this inner space of silence inside yourself. Most of the time we're not used to stay in silence and when you start with your yoga it can be pretty confronting, maybe frightening even, to keep that silence. Allow this calmness not doing state. Alright, and then softly open your eyes 
and gaze towards me. Again, I demonstrate the next posture. So first, please watch. So for butterfly pose, bring both of your feet together in front of you and we want to maintain more like a diamond shape, so don't bring the feet too close to your pubic, but a little bit more in front. If your knees are very high up, what they might be, please support your knees with blocks on each side. Yeah, like that or like that, so that you can remain here comfortably or also with cushions under both of the knees possible. So, first option, you just come down like that, walk with the hands forward with a round bag and allow your head to become heavy and fall down. First option, very simple. Second option, bringing a bolster between your legs onto your feet and folding over the bolster. Make sure you have the forehead nice and long so that your neck is long and not to one side. Yeah? So tuck the chin a little bit in. Second option, if that is too low, you can also place a block on the bolster and rest the forehead on the block. Close the eyes here and become still. Or going with the block directly onto the feet and becoming still here. Okay, let's do it. Bring your feet in front of you, soles of the feet together, knees pointing to each side. Support yourself as necessary with bolsters, blocks, cushions under your knees. And then choose if you want a bolster on your feet, if you want a block on your feet to support your forehead. For example, like this. Or if you want to work without anything, also possible. And then round forward, allow your head to be heavy. Relax your jaw, face muscles, your fingers, and allow your hips to open, knees folding to each side. With the exhalation, folding a little bit deeper in. So each yin pose is a new opportunity for you to tune deeper into yourself, to listen a little bit more. Getting a connection with your internal you, with that inner space. And then become as still as you can be. Staying here for the next two minutes. And soften a little bit more. Becoming a little bit more heavy. Really feel this tiny little 
fibers in your hips, in your hip joints, how they open up. I really can feel that. And slowly and mindfully walk hand for hand back to center. Head comes last. Stay with the eyes closed. You're always welcome to stay longer in the poses. I have to shrink it a little bit here for the video. But you're always welcome to stay longer in each pose. Collect both feet in. Sit for a moment with crossed legs. And just pause in between the postures. Hmm, relax the shoulders. And softly open the eyes. And for our last forward fold today, straighten both legs in front of you, collect both of the cheeks to each side. And please watch, you have again a couple of options here in a forward fold. Um, legs are totally soft, no muscular engagement. And then you can just walk with the hands forward and come down with a round spine and stay here. First option. Second option, placing a bolster onto your legs. Relaxing over the bolster with a block. Supporting the forehead. Or if you don't have a bolster, you can also just work with some cushions. Yeah. Okay, so choose yourself, uh, what's the best for you to stay here, and um, yeah, I go for that one, I guess, let's see, maybe sometimes you have to try out a little bit what, what is best, yeah, this is the best for me for today, and um, then relax your legs, close the eyes, and become still, relax your jaw, face muscles, hands, Hmm. Deep inhale. And exhale, soften. So this yin qualities, this feminine aspects of our lives and ourselves are often not so developed, especially in our very yang-focused society. So very forward driven and active. For this yin part of us, this meditative, inward-looking moon kind of side, it's often not so developed and not so well known. Maybe you yourself haven't even even touch that part of yourself in a long time. So in my perception is more it's more important than ever to return back to this feminine part of ourselves because we live in a masculine world that is linear and focused but not so flowing and intuitive and about the feeling and the inward looking about the dark and the heavy and both sides are important to keep our inner and outer balance take a deep inhale into that and exhale and allow this heaviness in your body to occur even more This weightiness, this gravity. Well, this pose stimulates 
our urinate bladder meridian that goes all the way over our back and over our head and scalp into the inside of our eyes. This stimulates this meridian. Make sure you drink lots today after that practice, especially when we stress these meridians to keep the fluid going. Always important to drink lots, but especially after we worked with that two energetic channels. And then slowly Walk yourself hand for hand back up. Head comes last. Hmm. You're also welcome to stay a little bit longer if you want. And then just stay here for a moment, place both hands on the back. Collect both feet in and then just let the knees drop from side to side like windshield wiper. Windshield wipers of a car from side to side. Hmm. Okay. Great. Then we move towards the floor and towards the end of our yin practice. Hold on to the back side of your knees and slowly vertebrae by vertebrae bring yourself all the way down onto your back. Collect the knees into your chest, hold on to each knee and then make some circles on your lower back, massaging your lower back here. And circle also the other way around. And circle with the feet. Circle also the other way around. And then pull just your right knee into your chest. Extend the left knee leg in front of you. Nice and long and then drop your right knee all the way over to your left. You can stay with the left hand on your knee or thigh and opening the right arm up to the side. If your shoulder, your right shoulder is very high up or the knee is very high up, please support yourself with cushions under your knee so that the right shoulder has the ability to drop towards the floor and relax into the floor. Okay? Maybe you don't need that. I'm going to simple spinal twist here to the end of the practice. Close your eyes, take an inhalation into the muscles between your ribs. And with the exhalation, relax the right shoulder more into the floor. Maybe you look towards your right hand or maybe you stay with the head in the center. Just one minute here on each side. You can also stay longer. This is really good also for the kidneys, all the twist for our organs, especially in our stomach area, in our lower part of the body. Especially our kidneys get here a nice flash, nice massage.
slowly bring the right knee back to center, pull the knee one more time into the chest, and then change sides, extend the right leg, pull the left knee in, relax the shoulders on the floor, and then bring the left knee over to the right side, left arm opens to the opposite side, maybe support your knee here or your shoulder if the arm is too high up, you know, if the shoulder is like that, support your shoulder to rest the shoulder on um, a cushion better is even the knee. And then relax the left shoulder, deep inhalation into your rib cage, and exhale, relax the left shoulder into the floor. Hmm. Relax your face muscles, your jaw. Soften your face. Soften your whole being. Stay a little bit longer if you like to, otherwise bring the left knee back up, pull the knee one more time into the chest, bring the right leg in to hug the knees one more time into the chest, and then straighten both legs for Shavasana, our end relaxation. If you like to, you can support your legs with a bolster or cushions under your knees, I like that very much. And then relax both arms on each side, toes pointing out, palms facing up towards the sky. And then let's take one more deep conscious breath here together, deep inhalation, and long exhalation, sigh out. And with the exhalation, Relax all the muscles into the floor. Shoulders totally heavy. Back side of the neck heavy. The scalp. The jaw. Soften your forehead. And allow here your yin yoga practice to unfold itself in Shavasana. The most important asana, people say, because everything unites, everything integrates what we do in our yoga practice. So just become still and enjoy this totally state of doing nothing. And then allow the reality that there is nothing to go, nowhere to go, nothing to reach, nothing to achieve. And you totally allow to relax 100% into this present moment. Doing absolutely nothing, relaxing even deeper and heavier into the floor, being whole and carried by the earth, sinking deeper and deeper, melting into the floor.
I encourage you to stay here a couple of minutes longer, as long as you like. Maybe you have a nice sleep here, a little rest on your yoga mat, then go for that. Otherwise, I say namaste. Please drink lots of water today. Thank you so much for watching Wonderful Yoga. I also continue my yin practice now. Hope you enjoy and hope to see you soon here. Stay. Mm -hmm.